I was wondering, like, this guy is like one of Pendragon's. He, he shows his face. He's one of the only people that talk about, like, 13th Sun that shows their face. I guess there's. Uh, not, not 13th Sun, but, like, Pendragon. He talks about Pendragon and stuff. My nose looks funny. There's always this dot. Always. Forever, non stop. I have a dot on my nose. Anyways, he says that the people with no upper lip, like this, he's saying that those people are the most intelligent. <clears throat> and I thought, man, that just seems really ass backwards. He says that the Neanderthal has no upper lip, so they're like this like they can't close their mouth they have no upper lip and so those people he said are geniuses and they control the computer matrix or I don't know the dude is really retarded and so you know good luck with whatever no lip zombies you have there no you know your dish eugenics uh, curled no upper lip uh, you know even Pendragon told me, he's like, I like your account because of the cleft palate type thing that you have going on there with the Thomas Anderson. And he, did you know he, would, he had cleft palate and he was born with no upper lip? <clears throat> so they're, it's basically like a dis-eugenics cult that thinks because they're bred to be dumber that actually makes them smarter and I and I thought I was almost fooled because they keep talking about how smart they are and how that no upper lip means you're like super genius and, and it's like wait a minute I think the exact opposite of them I think that if you have no upper lip that makes you a lemming in a high amygdala pattern and through the high amygdala you crash when your amygdala is too high you crash and when you crash you never bounce back you can never chase that dragon you're chasing a dragon you're trying to get that high like a meth addict would you're trying to trick your amygdala into no lip upper high spectrum of happiness which is not normal it is not normal to be ignorant blissful retard zombie no lip high amygdala now I understand what they do but they have to increasingly do more things to get that high that they so desire which is like a psychopath a psychopath has to take every drug possible. He has to fuck every hooker possible. He has to kill everyone possible to reach that upper amygdala high that he gets. It's a little different than your average zombie. It's a uh, it's the fight or flight high, where you're like you're you're like ready to go, you know. They have, they have to live in that moment. Now, it's very similar, but not exactly to that. They do the Zombies have to do the same thing. They have to ride that high. They're always having to find some kind of reward-based system, operant conditioning, to stay at that high upper amygdala. They're chasing the dragon, and they don't know it. This planet is a prison planet full of zombies that are all chasing the dragon and they don't know it you see that's why I like the phoenix and the dragon because <coughs> lemmings follow the dragon and the dragon is of strength the phoenix is of peace and intelligence and light that's why the phoenix is burning it's an enlightenment. I'm of the Phoenix. 
when I see an ad on TV and it says, I'm a Phoenix, and there's a place called Phoenix University or whatever, it makes sense to me. Like, I feel like I'm really, I'm more at touch with the Phoenix than I am with God. <clears throat> I don't believe in God. I believe in a fucking Phoenix. Can a lemming do that? Can a lemming believe in whatever they want? No, they have to be told what to think and how to think it about Jesus or God or anything. And it's all a big lie. They can't create their own anything. Like, And so, if you live in a process of dysugenics and the dysugenic zombies think it's better to be dysugenics, your future is so fucking bad. Weak, dude. Weak. Like, only dysugenic zombies appeal to you. You are going to de-evolve in the high upper lip, high amygdala high. You're going to de-evolve. And that's going to be a sad, lemming, zombie, prison planet death sentence for you. And I hope you're happy because you're not listening. I don't want it to happen. But you know what? It's not hurting me. So I'm realizing when you don't wake up, I don't give a shit. I don't like you. You don't like me. I want to wake you up. But if you can't even listen, then I will not feel bad watching you jump off a cliff. And I will feel very, you are rewarded with operant conditioning and a behavioral rewarding system. I'm rewarded when I watch the lemmings leap. And I mean leap. And I mean splat dead. <coughs> and the black sheep knows it. And I'm a black sheep. What is the black sheep? It means they're a lemming that's not a lemming. They're the black sheep. They're still a sheep. They're just the outcast sheep. And the outcast black sheep watch the lemmings leap off cliffs and sits there and says, God damn, it feels good to be black. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, I guess my skin's not black. But as a metaphor, I'm a black sheep. Understand it. And so when the wolves are driving you off the cliff so they can feast at the bottom and have a never-ending buffet of sheep and they drove you off the cliff, I'm standing off to the side going, God damn, I'm glad that that's not me. And so there's, a, there's my own reward there. I'm not re rewarded in operant conditioning. I'm rewarded by watching those in the operant conditioning program leap off cliffs. And then at that moment, the reward happens. And I say, wow. God, they're fucking dumb. I know that I'm smart, and that's all that matters. I don't need a bunch of leaping lemmings to tell me that I got it right. I think by watching them leap, I know that I got it right. And that's all that matters, that my eyeballs tell me the truth that I can see the truth and hear the truth and know the truth and then let that truth reward me and not be rewarded by their brainlessness and being jumping off a cliff. They're like, here, we'll give you 50 bucks, jump off this cliff. Okay. <sighs> and with me, uh, and, and I'm like, they're like, here's 50 bucks, leap off a cliff. No, I'm okay. Well, don't you want your reward? Don't you like money? Money? Don't you? Here's a carrot. Here's a carrot. Dangle it in front of your face. Now, go get it. And then you see it go <laughs> right off the cliff. And every other lemming's like jumping to go get it. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hmm. Did you know there's a whole field of carrots over there and you don't have to jump off cliffs to get them? No. There's no field of carrots that grow. No, there's only this one, and you need this one. You better go get it. Oh! And I'm like, 
Hey, Lemmings, did you know that there's a whole field of money over there for free? And they're like, nah, nah, shut up, nah, nah, nah. And I'm like, oh, okay, you are geniuses with your upper, no upper lip, and your high amygdala, retard, cliff jumping shit. You guys have fun with that. And I'm sitting here watching this guy, and he's like, I'm such a genius. I have no upper lip. That makes me genius. Like, this shit is all like spiritual shit. Like, there's a computer underground. In the 13th son, he's black. And black people are stupid. Ugh. I'm making fun of this guy. Not 13th son. The guy that makes fun of 13th son. And is racist as fuck. And I don't, I don't know if he's really racist or not. But he, he's retarded. And he's sitting there saying like, I'm racist. And no upper lip means that I'm a genius. And look at this zombie lemming bitch that I fucked. Yeah. Oh, we parked in the parking space number 13. Oh my god, it means the planets aligned in the west and the sun is setting in the south. And that means you gotta decapitate the 13th head of a goat. Motherfucker, and that's why pigs fly. Because I'm a genius with no upper lip. And... And you see that the words are, are all weird, like, like, like zombie is like the zom and the bee, and that, and it's like bee, like a, a bee, like it'll sting you, because the zombies, they're like, they'll sting you, and then they'll fly away, and that's why they're called zombie. You see, they're changing the language, and there's magic in the words. And you're like, oh my god, you are such a genius. Oh, everything makes sense. The landmarks are magic spells. And I'm like, I'm looking at them and they're like, it's like, it's like, zombies with their heads smushed in and their brains like seeping out their brains and they're like I'm a genius <laughs> my brains are leaking out my head I'm a genius and I'm like wow you are a genius they're like eat vegan food when they don't know that plants inhale carbon monoxide which is a poison for you and so you're eating this dead cellulose your body can't digest it. You're not a fucking cow with like ten stomachs. You're malnourished. That's why you're skinny. You're gonna get cancer because plants are poisonous. already done know they're going to be like when that starts to happen they're going to say plants are bad and it ain't the plants that are bad the plants ain't poisonous they suck in poison just like I practice poison immunity we suck in the poison
Listen to my fart. Oh, man. That was wrong. Oh, shit. There was some poison immunity right there. So people like him will go from saying plants are the greatest thing in the world. you got to watch out for lemmings for this reason. Lemmings think being a lemming is like the greatest thing. And they always follow trends. Like it's trendy to be vegan. And then here in the future they'll say the exact opposite. They'll say plants are poisonous. And a lot of the vegan people we know are dead now. So plants are bad. And it's not the plants. The plants suck up the poison of this planet. They're like concentrated poison. They suck it up. And when they die, they take it back to the planet with them. You're not really supposed to eat that. You know, if I stuck a poison sponge in the ocean to suck up all the poison, and I was like, here's a sponge, eat it. And you're like, mmm, this is healthy and good for you. Yeah, it's full of Fukushima radiation, and it was absorbing it. Yeah, absorbing it. It was like a sponge sucking it in, like it sawed it out and said, I want this poison and put it in me, and then took it back to the earth with them. And it was supposed to be a cleansing thing. And you thought by eating the poisonous plants were cleansing yourself. It's like maybe you're practicing poison immunity and you don't even know it. And you think plants are pure and nutritious when really they're poisonous and you're you're getting poison immunity. It's like the monarch butterfly. Like, will you become a monarch butterfly or just simply be poisoned and die like you ate a monarch butterfly? Like, you can't eat a monarch butterfly. That doesn't make you poison immunity if you eat a monarch butterfly and die. But the monarch butterfly practices poison immunity and becomes that poison. There's a difference there. That's why I don't really look for a lot of women. Because it's like... I don't know if that's my poison immunity or theirs. Because <laughs> it's like, they might just become poisoned by me. Or, I'm, or maybe I'll become poisoned by them. But either way, I don't care because for me it's just poison immunity. I could just kiss a chick, like, and the poison on my lips would just fucking kill her and send her into seizures and convulsions. And that's why I don't really date women, because the last time I tried to kiss one, they just went into fucking seizures. And I'm like, it's hard to fuck a bitch when she's convulsing. <laughs> so I'm like, I give up. I'm too poisonous for these bitches. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. It's probably the other way around, honestly. I'm, they're poison to me. I don't know. Like, so the guy's like totally backwards. He's like, I'm more intelligent because I curl my... I was born... They don't curl their lip. They just don't have one. So he's like, I don't have enough for lip. I'm more intelligent. I eat poison out of the ground. I eat poison sponges. Because they're pure. And they don't have any poison in them. And so that makes me pure. And I'm like, hmm. You're probably going to die from a big fucking tumor here soon. And you think that's pure?
like wow get retarded and that's where it's like a light bulb coming on you're like bing they don't know the truth they're lemmings and they're dumb this is not genius this guy using a uh, a template to make videos is not a genius like wow what software did you use to make that oh it's so entertaining uh, I'm a lemming I like things that are entertaining uh, uh, oh it, yeah, oh, I, oh, oh, he just did something right there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Like, that's why they watch him. Because he's entertaining. It's not... They're, they're not entertained by learning. They're entertained by dumbing themselves down. So they're just mindlessly entertained. And they're like, wow, I'm learning something. Yeah, what are you learning? A bunch of nothing, a bunch of bullshit, lies, twisted information, propaganda to keep you confused and in the dark for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, go believe in a bunch of fucking lies and think you're awake. You're fucking retarded. And you know what? I think the only people believing that shit are a bunch of fucking brain-dead, hippie, lobotomized, drug addict fucking retards. Even the dude himself says he took fucking mushrooms and everything else. And fuck, I'd probably take mushrooms too. But I wouldn't expect any truth to come out of my mouth if I did. I'd be, I'd just say I'm fucked up on mushrooms, you know? I wouldn't be like, oh my god, I'm fucked up. This is the holy gospel of truth. Holy, 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 holy. Dude, there's they're the most essence of lemming possible. Essence of retard zombie lemming. And it's like, my heart goes out to you. You are stupid. And anything that comes your way, you deserve it. And I, I feel really sorry for you. I wish that you weren't that stupid. But you know what? It's not me... I don't have any control over that. Go be stupid. I'm going to sit here and watch. This is fucking hilarious. Because I'm just not this stupid. And I'm just me just sitting here watching. It's just like, I was only born by G God and Jesus had me just so I could watch lemming brain dead zombies. And just do that. Just sit there and just like watch them be dumb. And, and that's my mindless entertainment, is watching lemmings leap off cliffs. And that's my reward. Like, they watch TV and leap off cliffs. I watch them leap off cliffs, and that's my, my entertainment as a black sheep. And I feel like I'm just here to bear witness to the, just the mindlessness and the, and the lemming leaping that happens. And just sitting there, just taking it all in. And, and just breathing that in, like, <sighs> mindless lemming air. It smells so good. <laughs> like, we don't exhale carbon monoxide. We exhale pure oxygen. You didn't know that. You're not even breathing oxygen. You're not an oxygen-breathing creature. You're a nitrogen-breathing creature. You're nitrogen... You're nitrogen. <laughs> you breathe nitrogen. What if you light a match in a room full of nitrogen and oxygen? Let's do it. This room is 95% nitrogen. I should explode. There are planets that are made of entirely methane or methanol there is a planet that is 100 percent methanol alcohol like vodka there is a planet made of vodka weird it's true it's weird what if we lived on a planet and it was 95 percent vodka and we 
bathed in vodka, we drank vodka, we were 95% vodka ourselves, but we never even fucking knew it. Could you imagine that? That oil is bullshit. We don't need oil. There is a sun, there is a universe with unlimited energy, and they want us to believe that we're dependent on foreign oil. We're made of water. Water is made of oxygen and hydrogen. What do you think oxygen and hydrogen do if, you know, when it's in its, when it's oxygen and hydrogen? It explodes. Look up HHO. It explodes. How hard is it to make HHO? You pass a current through it. How much voltage do you need to apply? A whole fucking shitload? Well, like they try to say? No. No, not a whole fucking shitload. Because I made an HHO cell and I hooked up one watt at point zero zero one milliamps and measured how much came out. And I was shocked that at, at every point zero zero one of a millivolt would separate the water. That means it's like you send in one electron. It separates one molecule. So you're getting um, equivalent exchange. But then you got to understand <coughs> the water itself when you burn it when you or, I mean not not the water itself but the HHO when you burn it you get energy back how much energy how much energy did you put into it to get how much energy back so if it was like 30 gigajoules of energy was received back but only one gigajoule of energy was put in to get 36 back that's 36 fold that means you have an over unity factor of 36 percent and then they try to say over unity doesn't exist you can't get something from nothing so you're saying water is nothing E equals MC squared matter equals energy squared how much energy one atom has a million, gillion, trillion energy. Like nuclear bomb style energy. One atom, nuclear bomb. <sighs> oh shit. The water is potential energy. Water in a dam. Spinning turbines is potential energy. Where's the over unity there? Well, that's potential energy. So what's the difference between burning the water and getting the potential energy than putting it in a dam? The difference there is is you don't want us to know the truth. That's the difference. It's not that it doesn't exist. It doesn't happen. You don't you can't control us and make us go to work and pay for energy if we discover energy is free and unlimitless in this universe oh god how are they going to enslave you if they can't enslave you hmm no wonder you're stupid and lemming because as long as they keep you stupid and lemmified you'll never uh uh, figure anything out and, and become free and independent from a brain-dead lemming zombie mass of a society. You'll just be the curled upper lip zombie and think you're the smartest fucking thing there is because you leap off cliffs. I'm so smart. I like to leap off cliffs. Woo! Yeah, you're really smart. Like... <laughs>
It's like this ICP song. It's like, I punch you in the face and I skin my teeth on your knuckles because you're a fucking hard head bitch. Fuck you. And I'm like, wow, I really feel that way. Like, zombies attack me. And then I like, I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> and then I skin my teeth on their knuckles and I'm like, like, why do they do that? Why do they pick a fight that they can't win? And then they're, like, smiling as they're getting their ass kicked. Because they define their existence through misery. I do the same thing, but it's actually kind of interesting because I define my existence through their misery. So, still misery, just not necessarily feeling it like they're miserable and define their they want to be miserable they define their existence by how miserable they are they're pretty miserable they're pretty stupid brain dead lobotomized and miserable and they're happy that way me I define my existence through overcoming misery If everything was just handed to you, you wouldn't really know how good it was for those things. But if you struggle to get something you want, you're going to keep it and have it and love it that much more. So I define my existence through struggling to get what I want. They define their existence by just simply being miserable and living miserable and hating their life and not doing anything better to fix it they want to be miserable there's a difference there they want to be miserable I battle that misery win and define my existence by winning by fighting the misery they just define their existence by simply enjoying the misery. Worlds of difference, but are on same similar similarities, but way different. Do you do you get that? Is this hard for you? No, no, no. You're you're a mindless lemming dumb zon. Oh, you're making too much sense now. I'm gonna have to sh fucking turn my brain off right now. Because you actually just made a fucking lick of sense. Even though we don't even know what the fuck you just said and how it applies to this or that because we're brain dead and we're lobotomized and we don't really think much. So you're fucked up. And every judge should do a minimum of 20 to life because if they can dish it they should take it and tell me that ain't right if you can dish it you can take it it's time to take every judge and put them in prison the same prison with the same people the same judge take the judges and put them in prison their crime is being corrupt and they're sentenced to 20 years to life in the same prison treated in the same manner as everyone else I demand it right now that every judge every judge that's ever been a judge since the beginning of time if you were a judge and you are alive you are now sentenced to 20 to life in prison with the people that you put there in the same cell everything sharing the same showers all of it I demand it and expect no less. I demand that every judge be locked up for 20 years to life. I demand it. I will settle for nothing less. You farted. You farted. You farted. And is that how you say oh? You farted. You farted. Did you fart? Are you a little fart? Yes. Yes.
Oh, I love my little kitty. They want to take my cat from me. I can't even keep it. it, it my cat is so upset. I can't let it out because if I do let it out, they'll just kill it or something. I don't go outside. My cats don't go outside. Even if I do go outside, I'm, I'm like, oh, look who's coming. Oh, guess who's walking down the street right now? Guess who's going to bother me? You know what? Instead of being bothered, I'm just going to turn back inside and go inside. And if they try to bother me again, they're going to have a lot more trouble. And if I have to defend myself, I will. Not very well, either. It's hard to defend yourself from a horde of uh, mindless lemmings. Anyways, I guess I'm going to go. Pet my cat. Oh, did he give a kiss? Give me a kiss. You're a good kitty. I think we should circumcise everybody so they don't have sex. Yes. And if you're dumb enough to be circumcised and then you don't have sex, that's your fucking problem. That's what we should do. We should circumcise people so they can't feel sex. And then so there's no mutual relationship there because one person's feeling something and, and another person's not. And so that's not a good connection there. There's not a good flowing connection of energy and, and orgasm and everything. Because once circumcised, which means their G-spot was cut off, and the other person is sensitized, and they feel more stuff. And so there's not a connection between someone that's numb and someone that's overly sensitive. <laughs> 